Hey everybody, welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion! I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time we defeated Bogmire, the boss of Area 2, and reconverted the Area 2 ghosts into portrait, into paintings. Mario. With all but two of them being gold Mario. frames. Today, I think it's about time for us to carry on into Area 2. Area 2? We just finished that area. Area 3. Um, now, with Area 2 completed, the first floor hallway is now lit up. Meaning, if you did not get that one golden mouse that's out here, that's located out here in the hallway, uh, that's bad. Uh, you will not be able to get it after defeating Bogmire. So keep that in mind before traversing this area. Uh, anyway, I am gonna head back to the kitchen. Because there is actually something that we can, well, do here. Well, not really here in the kitchen. More like... Out here in this general area. We're gonna want water element for this. I'm sure, yeah, heart will do as well. Uh, we want to come out here into the bone yard. And we have this little rose sprouted over here. What we're gonna do... And spray more water. And what this does for us is that we get a ginormous flower. We're gonna want to remember this for later. Trust me. This is actually a lot more important than it might seem. So we're gonna go ahead and head back into the kitchen and we're gonna be leaving the kitchen. And we're gonna go ahead and go exploring around the mansion because there's quite a bit for us to do this time around. Most particularly, well, in just about any room that we've already been to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off in the area one places. Uh, now that we have the water element, um, and now that we have a time that is not spent dealing with portrait ghosts, we actually have a means of actually dealing with some of the plant life that li might lie within the mansion itself. Uh, also, uh, off screen, I noticed something on this bookshelf. There's a book of riddles. Will you read it? Mysteries appear whenever people turn, but turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. That there serves as a clue to defeat Neville, the very first portrait ghost in the game. So if you're having a little bit of trouble uh, fighting him, uh, there's your clue. Uh, I don't think there's anything here in the... Nursery. No. Nothing here. Alright. Let's go ahead and head into the master bedroom. Because this place has all sorts of plants in here. And by that, I mean just one. Uh, I know this gives us something. Here we go. There it is. Give me that. We get an emerald for watering the plant. So yeah, that's actually something you should keep in mind. Watering the plants is a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explore around the mansion and hopefully find more plants that we can water. Uh, I am going to be exploring the rest of Area 1, however, I'm kind of short on water, so I'm probably going to be returning to the kitchen at some point. Uh, see you at any point that has a plant in it. Um, okay, we're not really here in an area with plants, but I would actually like to point out this little balcony right here. Uh, there are plants, well, right here. However, I'm kind of here more for the reason of, you can see the graveyard over there. You can actually see where you fight Bogmire. Ahead of time, like before you even catch a portrait ghost. That's actually pretty cool. Anyway, I'll be back with water. All right, I know what are these plants. Or, ooh, sapphire, sapphire, give me that. All right, watering the plants is a good thing in this game. Always remember that. See, look at this. We're getting all kinds of money just for watering plants. It's amazing. Mario. 
key message here, always respect plant life. Anyway, moving on, we're gonna go ahead and now cover the area two rooms and see if we can find any plants there. Oh, um, yeah, I completely forgot to mention something about the mirror room. Uh, the mirror itself is a flat image. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely nothing reflective on this thing whatsoever. The only thing that's completely backwards is, well, Luigi's movement and the, um, the chest. That's just about it. Hmm. Well, I scoped around all of Area 1, all of Area 2, but only the plants that gave the money beforehand were the only ones we could find, so I guess we're about ready to move on with plot, I suppose. Over here, we have a barrier, similar to, similar to the one in, in the foyer. It has a club shape on it, just like the one in the foyer had the heart. Let's open it up. We are now entering Area 3. And I must add, Area 3 is one of my more favorite areas, for reasons we're going to be getting into shortly. Welcome to the courtyard. Uh, we have these little sprites right here. Uh, we got trees. Uh, heart. Uh, and we got more plants. Ow. Uh, we got water elemental right here, just in case you need it. And we get the money. It's all the money. Now, right into the poltergust. There we go. Water more. Yeah, this one gives us a heart. That'll that's actually pretty useful. That that one gives us an emerald. We have we got five of these things? We had zero of them in area one. Uh you need to die. Thank you, good day. Uh let's go ahead and get more water element. Uh down here is something pretty important. Uh, you can faintly hear something back there, however, I'm going to go ahead and deal with that later. Uh, this might look like something you can actually warp into, however, it is not. Welcome to the bottom of the well. Uh, conveniently, also the name of an area in Ocarina of Time, an optional dungeon. So, let's go ahead and look through here. Shut up. Stupid. Well, we lit up the bottom of the well, and just for seeing that, we get a key. So, we know exactly what happened to Mario now. In addition, we also have a key that goes all the way back there. Wow. Okay. Up we go. Back into the courtyard. I don't know why I'm speaking in French, but I am. Uh, alright. Let's go ahead and exit. Oh! I hate you all. Uh, oh! We got another. We found Mario's leather. Le leather. Mario doesn't wear leather, last I checked. Uh, leather. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of you guys. You're getting in my way. Whenever you want to appear. Uh, okay. So regarding Mario and the painting right there. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here for a few. Cause you can actually hear Mario from right, from right here. You might have heard him right there. He is basically saying, what's the hold up to Luigi? 
Oh god. Die. And that's it. We cleared out the courtyard of all its ghosts. In addition, I'll be taking all your treasures because that's just what Luigi exists for. Luigi exists for nothing but money and riches. Uh, okay, nothing there. Uh, guess we'll go in and examine that. More money. Lovely. We are we are getting freaking rich. I want all of it. Uh, yep, yeah, we got money here. Uh, we've reached the end of the courtyard right here. However, we have something right in here. This door is jerkish. Trust me, you do not want to open it from the front. You want to open it up from the side. That will do 10 damage to you. Meaning this door can be responsible for a game over. Anyway, let's talk to Toad. You saw him, didn't you? How, how could they do that to Mario? When I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran through the mansion, looking for a hiding place. While I was running through that, I did happen to notice that Mario left some of his things lying around the place. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and a star. I saw five items all together. I could collect them for if I were if I could remember where they were. Yeah, I probably should have picked some up. What? Really? You'll find all Mario's items for me? Oh, thank you so much, Luigi. And he'll save our game for us. That is actually really hard to maintain. So I'm gonna examine the light, make sure it doesn't have anything special for us. Uh, any of these particular items could actually have um, items for us to collect. Uh, we've already watered all the plants here. Check this just to be safe. Uh, we already checked this, it didn't have anything. Nothing at all. This is the entrance to Area 3. Yeah, I think we're about ready to move on to the next room. Let's go on ahead and progress. Alright. This room. I greet you to the rec room. Uh, this place. There we go. Speedy Spirit drops a ruby. Let's go ahead and collect that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful money. All right. Now this room right here. This is a optional portrait ghost, I believe. This is Biff Atlas, a bodybuilder. This kind of brings me into a bit of a tangent regarding, well, a similar case of what happened when we were catching Melody in the conservatory. Back when I started doing Let's Plays, and I was kind of like new to, I think this was like around Let's Go, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee was when I was doing this. I used to be... I used to uh, work out a little bit. Um, because that actually provides... That actually makes you a lot happier with like all the chemicals th flowing through your brain after like a good workout. After Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee began, or rather, around the time my senior year of high school began, I kind of like let it go as schoolwork was building up and unfortunately every single attempt that I had made to get back into it has failed so Biff Atlas is pretty much one of my favorite portrait ghosts but for the but for the only for only for the reason of it reminds me of a particular of a particular profession that I respect, similar to Melody. However, definitely more so with Biff, because this is actually because what Biff is doing right here is actually something that I wish I could do a lot more of. Anyway, walking on the treadmill grants us a key. 
That is pretty much why Biff Atlas is an optional ghost, because the key connects to the first floor hallway, and we don't really need to, well, deal with Biff in order to, well, do that. However, let's go ahead and go over Biff Atlas in general. All we need to do in order to beat Biff is hit him with his own, well, punching bag. Ow! Oh god. Biff is also rather aggressive. Very aggressive. Hit him with that. We gotta hit him three times. He's getting... And there we go, that's our third hit. And shine him. Now, actually catching Biff Atlas can actually be pretty difficult. All of this equipment in here leads to exactly that. Biff is not easy in the least bit. Mostly because of the fact that all this equipment here can, well, screw with you. As such, I don't think I'm getting anything more than a silver on Biff. And we're not in a good position to be chasing him. Yep, I thought so. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and collect the pearls that he dropped. That all that adds up. All that adds for money. Hit him. Alright. Hopefully this is the final time. Got him. There we go. That's it for Biff Atlas. Uh, we got a boo in here as well. Uh, yeah, let's go get that boo. I'm kind of more concerned about it than I am with... Uh, boo regard. Um... Uh, I have nothing on you, but you're a pun off of something, and that's good enough. Now die. Or you're gonna go into the conservatory. Okay. Hmm. That's actually pretty good, because now we can actually connect here. And because we know he's in the conservatory, it's a lit room, meaning we can we're gonna be able to catch him easy. You have six health, really. Just die. Really? Like, my lord. You went right into a freaking Area 2 room that we... Oh, Vincent Van Gore. Uh, yeah, he's important. We'll get into him much later. Anyway, we're gonna head back in here. We're gonna go back to the rec room, and we're gonna go ahead and collect our prize for defeating the Fatless. Uh, I'm pretty sure that boo actually damaged me. Uh, yeah, thanks game for showing me that there was treasure in here. Most appreciated. Uh, money, including a silver diamond. The second of its kind. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and collect all the other juicy, uh, currency that we can pick up. Uh, yeah, we're close to roughly 500 total gold, and that's not counting any of the silver diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds that we got. So, we're looking to be in a pretty good position. Yeah, nothing in here. There's not anymore. Anyway, we're gonna go on ahead and progress, because we got a key somewhere. Not over there. Nothing on the second floor that we can go after. Actually, I think it is about time for us to progress onto the second floor. Mario. Hmm. I'm not mistaken. That leads to the rec room. And you can hear something from up here. That's because we got a door on fire. Put it out. And let's go ahead and wait before I do. There's something I want to do real quick. And that something is saving, because... Ugh. We have one of the most convoluted areas in the game. So, let's go ahead and go into that, shall we? We're gonna go ahead and progress up to the second floor, as we had done before. Now, the rec room actually leads perfectly to it, however... 
Nish. It's this room. Welcome. To, oh, 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 oh. Gotcha. That was a percent. That was a. That was a golden mouse that appears on percentage. Three. You know what else is crazy about this place? That, that's not the only one. Ow. There's one right here. Gotcha. I will be taking your other ruby. I will also be taking your prized possessions. This is the only room in the entire mansion that has literally two golden mice in the exact same room. The only one of its kind. Ain't that something else? Uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wait for the grabber to pop back. Come on. Yeah, thank you for not wasting my time. Uh, we got a boo in here. Are you? It's a boo ball. Of course it is. Here's the real one. Mr. Boo Jangles. And. Ow. Really? I think I lost him too. Yeah, we can't get him. Uh, that's a bad. Okay, so I guess that's the case. We'll be back for him later. The tea room's big gimmick are these anti-gravity tiles. Uh, basically, they allow us to walk on the ceiling. As such, I like that. all the precious money that's over here. And not a boo ball. And I would like to come on over here because our reward is this. Hmm. Hey now, Luigi. What have you found there? Let me see it. An ice element medal. Now you can use the ice element. Ice elemental ghosts are fo only found in chilly places. You'll probably find them in refrigerators and cold areas. Like that. My research shows that they come out hide they come out of hiding when you approach. Use the L button to expel a ice element. Once you vacuum one of those ghosts up. Pretty much they're just well the same as the fire and elemental ghosts. And Yged also gives us a hint as to our next portrait ghost. So, that's what we need. However, next time on Luigi's Mansion, hmm. we will deal with exactly that. The second floor of the mansion. See you guys then. Or actually, wait a minute. I have a hunch about something. Ow! In here. Uh. Okay, that's bizarre. Well, I guess I'll see you back in the tea room. Uh. Oh, I know where it's. That asshole. Okay. See you guys next time.
Thank mm-hmm. you.